Hey guys, this time we're going to talk about how to keep yourself and others safe while riding. First off, before going anywhere on your bike, you should take a quick look at your bike for a few things. Is there any fluid on the ground below the bike? If you're leaking oil, brake fluid, coolant, or gasoline, you'll likely be able to see it accumulating on the ground. If you see something, do something about it. Don't just ride off with hope that it'll be fine. Lower leaking fluids can lead to major failures that could result in your death. How do the tires look? It's critical for your tires to provide the right amount of traction on the road. If the tread is balding or if the pressure is low, take care of it before going for a ride so the wheels can do their job right. Is the chain tension right? Your chain and sprockets will wear over time. The roller bushings and sprockets will get smaller by an infinitesimally small amount every mile you ride, but it adds up. As an example, if you had 100 links in your chain and every roller bushing, two per link, has just one one thousandth of an inch worth of wear, your worn chain will be almost a quarter of an inch longer than a new chain. This gradual increase in length is normal and perfectly fine, but you will need to keep an eye on it and periodically adjust the position of the rear wheel to bring the tension back to the right level. A loose chain can be incredibly dangerous, and a tension check is very fast and easy. Do you have enough gas? Many motorcycles don't have a fuel gauge. There are two common ways to determine if you need to get more gas. Number one, trip distance. If you know your tank capacity and typical miles per gallon, you should be able to predict your total available range and simply fill up before you reach the end of your range. Number two, use the reserve tank. Lots of bikes have a hand-operated valve that reduces the height of the fuel pump intake. Basically, in the upper position, your bike would quote-unquote run out of gas, but then you can tell the fuel pump to draw from the very, very bottom of the tank, and that will give you an extra couple miles so you can fuel up. If you want to use the reserve tank method, you need to first verify whether you have a reserve tank valve, and then practice accessing it while in your garage. That way, if and when you need the reserve tank while riding, it's quick and easy to access instead of a panic. As you finish up your inspection and get on your bike ready to roll out, make sure your mirrors are correctly adjusted. You need both hands to operate the bike, so be sure to adjust your mirrors before you ride. A couple things to think about while you are riding. You need to be more vigilant and more defensive than all of the vehicles around you. Don't ride in blind spots. Even if you're not in a blind spot, don't assume that they see you. Think about your lane position. You should usually avoid the center of the lane as car oil leaks will have reduced the available traction there. Look where you're going. Are there wet spots on the road up ahead? Are there any areas of accumulated road grit? Either of those can dramatically reduce your expected traction and can cause a big wreck. Know and follow your local motorcycle laws. Is lane splitting allowed? Is that sweet bike mod even legal? Nobody likes getting pulled over, so follow the rules. As a brief side note, remember to keep your registration and proof of insurance with you when you ride. Since you probably don't have a glove box on your bike, you probably want to put it in a plastic baggie and store it under the seat. Know your limits. If you're not 100% comfortable with your speed, the road condition, and the cars around you, fix it. Whether that means pulling over, slowing down, or changing the route, be safe and arrive alive. Take home message here, how you ride is a major contributor to your safety. Maintain the space you need to GTFO if someone suddenly tries to merge into you. Perhaps the most obvious and most effective way to improve your safety is to wear all the gear, all the time. To be clear, that means a full face helmet, an armored jacket, gloves, sturdy long pants, and closed toed shoes. The fact is there are too many idiots on the road that won't see you, and when they merge into you, or rear end you, or t-bone you, it won't matter who had the right of way. Don't justify reduced gear by saying, oh it's a short trip, or I'm not going on the freeway, or whatever. Those could very literally be your last words. Like my brother said, gear is the only thing separating you between living a long and happy life versus becoming a meat crayon. All the gear, all the time. To recap, make sure your bike is in good mechanical condition. Make safe decisions while riding. 
and be sure to wear all the gear all the time. I'm going to close out by quoting an observation made by an early airmail pilot named E. Hamilton Lee back in 1949. There are old pilots and there are bold pilots, but there are no old, bold pilots. Stay safe out there, guys. That's it for this time. Feel free to ask questions or add suggestions in the comments. Have a good one.